Welcome back to my channel. Today we are discussing about a buck converter, its working, and how design and simulate a buck converter using PSIM simulation tool. As you all know, a buck converter is DC-DC converter that efficiently convert a fixed DC voltage into a variable DC voltage. As we control the turn on and off time of the MOSFET, we can control the voltage at the output terminal. An LC filter is used at the output in order to smoothen the pulsed voltage generated by the MOSFET. Now here is the question, why we use an LC filter, why we cannot use AC filter alone, and the reason is when we use capacitor alone, a pulsed voltage will appear across it, that will create large current pass through the capacitor. In order to limit this current we connect an inductor in series with the capacitor. Buck converters are available in the market in different forms like small IC to externally mountable devices. All these converters can handle power up to a few 100 watts. Buck converters are widely used in almost all electrical and electronics equipments in order to give power to the components used in the system. We can see buck in a small mobile charger, in a motor drive, in a power amplifier, in motherboard SMPS, in solar charge controllers, likewise in many other applications. Now we will try to design a simple buck converter. Design basically includes finding the value of filter inductor and capacitor. Before proceeding further, we shall look at the specification required for the converter. Maximum input voltage is 12. Required output voltage is 5. Switching frequency is 25 kHz. Maximum output voltage ripple is 20 mV. Inductor current ripple is 0.8 Ampere. First we need to calculate the required duty ratio. For a buck converter duty ratio is equal to input voltage divided by output voltage. On substitution we will get a value of 0.4167. Now we required calculate the value of inductance. Value of inductance is given by the following equation. On substitution we will get 145.83 micro henry as value of inductor. Now finally we need to calculate the value of capacitor. Capacitance is given by the following equation. On substitution we will get value as 200 microfarad. Now we will see how to simulate a buck converter using these designed values. I am using a PSIM simulation for simulating it. PSIM simulation tool designed specially for use in power electronics and motor drives. But trust me, you can do almost all electrical and electronic simulation using PSIM. And I suggest strongly for beginners. When you open PSIM you will get to see a window like this. Now go to file and select new. A new window will open and this is our working space. First give a meaningful title for the project. Make sure that the name is clearly visible. Now place it at the top. Now we select the components required for the buck converter. Select a DC source and place it. Give its value as 12 volt, that we know from our specifications. Now select a MOSFET. I am using an ideal MOSFET without any on state resistance. Now select a diode and place it properly. Select an inductor from the component list and assign its value that we are designed already. And the designed value is 145.83 micro henry. Select a capacitor and assign its value as 200 microfarad. Now select a resistor which act as the load to the converter and assign some random value. That completes the component placement and now we need to connect all these components using wires.
Now we need a gating block to give PWM signals for the MOSFET. Change the switching frequency to 25 kHz and duty ration to 41.67 percentage. We need a current probe to see the inductor current and a voltage probe to see the output result. Select both probes and place it properly. Don't forget to give a meaningful name to each probe. Now before starting the simulation we need to assign sampling time and total runtime for our project. That we can do using simulation control tool available in simulation tab. I am using 1 microsecond sampling time and 0.1 second runtime. Now run the simulation and see the result. First we will see the output voltage. Ignore the transients and see the steady state value. Now see the average value. And see it's coming exactly 5 volt, that is our designed value. Now we'll further zoom in the waveform to see the voltage ripple. Select upper maximum and lower maximum points. Send the selected value to the calculator and find the difference. Value we are getting is nearly 20 millivolt. That is also matching with our designed value. Now we shall look at the inductor current waveform. Our designed ripple value is 0.8 ampere. We will see whether that value is coming or not. Select the maximum and minimum points and send to calculator. Value we are getting is nearly 0.8 ampere and that also matches with design. So that's it for today. I will discuss closed loop simulation of buck converter and its practical implementation using microcontrollers in the upcoming lectures.